good morning and god's blessing be upon you this day and as we begin our life this day let us begin it by listening to the voice of god from heaven from his wonderful word now in the last two meditation in the last two meditations we have been thinking about the appearance of the angels to the shepherd who announced to them the birth of jesus christ and then the wise men who also got the message in in, in a different manner and both the shepherds and the wise men the shepherds who were poor simple and insignificant people out in the field the wise men were highly educated they were intelligent and they were rich and they were rich in many ways materially but both of them we found they were obedient to the revelation they receive and they both the group came and met the messiah and saw the messiah the savior of the world with their own eyes the shepherd came the same night when he was born but the wise men took probably 2 years what a tedious journey they were from east wise men from the east and maybe from three different or I, we don't know exactly how many but uh, different countries they by appointment they met in one place and they started their journey and it probably took two years for them to arrive but they too were rewarded and and they met the savior now what was the message that is our meditation today what was the message itself that both receive this glad tidings which was to all the people it carried a threefold message and uh, let us see to it number one glory to god in the highest and secondly peace on earth and thirdly goodwill among men glory to god in the highest now has come the highest glory to god by the appearing of his son jesus christ by his life and death on the cross will glorify god his love his justice his holiness and his mercy and his wisdom and what a what a revelation this child whom they met both the shepherds the same night he was born but the wise men probably when he was 2 years old they met the savior and uh, the first message a glory to god and that simply means glory to god in the highest now with the birth of jesus christ the highest glory from heaven has appeared on earth by the appearing of his son jesus christ and by his life and death on the cross that child is going to glorify god and glorify his life his, his love glorify his justice glorify his holiness glorify his mercy and glorify his wisdom and the second says peace on earth now is come to earth the peace of god the perfect peace between a holy god and sinful man by his death and blood he will reconcile the world to himself by the blood of jesus christ the messiah and when men admit to this peace in their hearts they will have they will be at peace with one another and my friends this is the secret of a how the uh, how we may live in peace with one another 
we must find our peace in Jesus Christ. And unless and until we are at peace with God, we can never be at peace with one another. So that is very obvious in, in the way people and the nations behave towards one another today. It is as if they are enemies. And the people of the same nation, look, they are divided. They cannot accept and love other, a, 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 a person of uh, any other, other religion. It is all sad. Why? Because men are not at peace with God. And they will only find peace with God through Jesus Christ who came. By whose coming he brought peace on earth. Now has come and, and a goodwill towards men. Now has come the time when God's kindness and, God, and, and goodwill towards guilty man is to be fully revealed. There is an opportunity today, my friends, for you to experience all these three things. To be at peace with God. And uh, when, uh, when you know Jesus Christ, you also will be enriched with the knowledge how he's, uh, that, that, that he is going to bring glory. You know, glory to God in the highest. Now has come the highest glory to God. And I pray that by the Holy Spirit, you too will begin to experience this glory that will cover you. It's glorify God. You will be able to glorify God through his glory and, and glorify his love and glorify his justice and glorify his holiness and mercy and wisdom. My friends, here is peace. Peace on earth. When you find your peace with God, you will be at peace with everybody else as well. And unless that happens, we cannot live in peace. And may the Holy Spirit himself reveal to you and enable you to get into the experience of living in peace with each other, others. And that is, that is what makes life rich and enjoyable towards others and one another. And may the blessings of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and, and, and in you. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill among men. And may you be able to enjoy and experience personally all these three aspects of his person, Jesus Christ the Messiah. O Holy Spirit of God, enlighten us and uh, let some illumination come to us that we may properly understand the riches that we can have, possess, in the person of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Thank you, Lord, that we too may be connected with the heaven and look forward to be in heaven with Jesus himself, the King of kings and Lord of lords. In Jesus' name, amen.